Kasumba was rushed to Mulago National Referral Hospital on Wednesday night after he was attacked and his hands were nailed together. Kasumba claims the attack was politically motivated because he had been threatened several times over his support for the National Resistance Movement Party. This morning, the NRM Secretary General Kasure Rumumba visited Kasumba at Mulago Hospital. It is uh, diabolic, it's hellish. It is not accepted and acceptable to any sane human being. Kasumba has now been transferred from Mulago Hospital to Kitante Medical Center following allegations that his attackers could cause him more harm. Those who have been trading this boy and warning him and those who, have even, who are trying to trade him up to hospital, please stop. Youth led by the NRM National Youth Coordinator, Joseph Sewava, have accused the opposition of being responsible for the brutal attack. Do. Those are gangsters. Those are criminals. Those are what, that is what exactly they do. Because they'll be whining and the group thought that the group youth are supporting him in the ghetto. Now we have carried out good programs for young people in ghetto. Ghetto programs. We have good programs. And we no longer see those youth supporting running up and down. I want to call all the leaders of opposition in this country. I call on your hearts. Wake up and go and visit this young man. These nails may turn into something very, very, very dangerous. But a People Power spokesperson, Joel Senyonyi, has dismissed the allegations, saying this could have been planned to malign the opposition. As People Power, we condemn every attack on any Ugandan that believes in a certain political belief, whether it be for People Power, NRM, or whatever. Every Ugandan has a right to express themselves politically. As they... You see, there are some people who are saying that uh, it is possible government did this, to mud sling and make people power look bad. We don't have any proof, uh, so we cannot say with certainty at this point that government did this, but we know for sure that government is very capable of doing this. I've given him that name, Kasumari, and we will show the public how those nails can turn around. When a big door closes, a small window can open. We will keep the old man, whether he's in the wheelchair, we will keep him if that's what it takes. Yes. Jingo Francis. NTV.